In our last two videos, we've taken the smaller DeWalt batteries and put them in contrast up against the larger DeWalt batteries to show the different voltages you'll get out of different tools. Now we're mainly doing this because of the new DeWalt 5 amp hour power stack battery and to show if it's worth upgrading to that for your uses. Now today we're going to take a small tool, this is a DeWalt atomic impact driver, and drive different screws into wood, testing the voltage for each battery. That voltage drop is going to show you how much of an improvement you'll get from going from a small 2 amp hour battery all the way up to something you'll never use on this, but it'll give you an idea of what battery is going to be the best choice for you for power and then you can decide the size and the runtime based off of the amp hour. This is going to be great to see how much this little tool will actually suck power out of the batteries, so let's get after it. As with all the other tests, we're going to have two wires coming out of the back of the battery. That's going to be testing our voltage. We're going to run these lags down. We're going to watch the voltage. That's going to tell us how much power the tool is getting and obviously the speed and everything else. And that's going to be based on the battery, not the amp hour of the battery, the cells on the inside. But we're going to call these based off their amp hour and their designated name. This is the compact two amp hour battery. So we've seen 16 volts on that at the end. That's been consistent with what we've seen on this battery. Let's move up. Here is the 1.7 amp hour power stack. That stayed in the mid 17s. Here's the three amp hour compact. That stayed in the high 17s, low 18s. Here's the 4 amp hour compact. That did not go all the way down and I was seeing 17.2. We broke the screw. Just in case there was a little wood variation there, we're going to go with the 4 amp hour compact one more time. So there we seen 17.6 maybe as a low. There must have been something going on down here. 5 amp hour XR. We seen low 18s and high 17s there. Pretty decent numbers. Here is the 5 amp hour power stack. Never even got in the 18s. 6 amp hour, 20 volt. Again, never got in the 18s. 8 amp hour, XR, 20 volt. That one did get into the 18s. That's interesting because this guy has outperformed the 6 amp hour many a times in different applications. And finally, something I hope I'd never see on the job site, the 9 amp hour flex volt on this little tiny impact. Well, let's give her a go. Mid to high 19s. While this won't be a struggle for this 5 amp hour power stack, we're just going to watch the voltage as we remove each one of these and just see what happens if it continues to go down and dip or if it stays standard across the board.
So in that last one, we see 19.2. I really think it's neat to see the progression from the two amp hour and then the 1.7 amp hour power stack gives it a little bit more power, but then as you move up to the three and four amp hour, it really seems to kick in more and give you everything you need. The five amp hour still is kind of eh, but does the job. And then the five amp hour power stack really started to give us some power and it's probably the right size for this tool when we really look at it. If you needed a lot of runtime, but yet still a smaller, lighter weight battery. And with that said, we're a little bit larger in a footprint than the five amp hour battery. It's about the size of any of the 21700 cell DeWalt batteries as far as the footprint. It's not as tall as the six amp hour battery, but the six amp hour battery to me seems like a little bit overkill on this small of a tool. Now, I guess if you're using it for decking, or large long period jobs where you weren't over your head, it might work. But again, due to the performance, the lighter weight, I'd probably go with the five amp hour power stack if that was my main job. So with that said, most people are going to probably dive down here in the four amp hour range, although you're not much difference in size than the power stack, realistically. So it's an interesting call when you use these smaller tools. And I think that's where we're at right now with what DeWalt has out. Now there is a kit that's going to come out with the seven and a quarter inch circular saw and it's going to include this five amp hour battery. The power stack might really rock that out, but what's it gonna do for runtime? I wanna make sure I get that exact saw in here so I can make sure that the internals are gonna be the same and it's gonna take advantage of everything. We'll do the same test once we are assured that that circular saw that comes in this kit is going to be the same as what's out there. So we'll let you know on that. So make sure you subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell so you don't miss those videos that are coming out. We always appreciate your time. Please give us a thumbs up. Have a great day.